Hey guys, it's AutoChain here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do interior LEDs as you see to the R34 on the left and the Jetta to the right. Um, so the Jetta is basically how I originally did it, um, and I'll be showing you how to do it, uh, how to do it this way in today's video. And then if you want to mix it up, get more advanced with it, uh, you could put it inside a uh, moving object such as your boot, uh, your hood, and like doors and stuff, and it'll move uh, with it if you put the, the LED in it. Um, so with this one, I just put the LED inside the boot, and it moves uh, up and down with it. Also, like I created a little like glowing um, texture that turns off and on uh, when you start the car. Um, but yeah, in today's video, I'll just be basically be showing you how to uh, enter LEDs. So uh, let's get straight into Z mod. All right. So once we're in Z mod, you uh, usually when you get your car, you're gonna have uh, your LEDs like this in this pattern. You're gonna have your front and the back, and then uh, your left and right. Um, if you don't have it, you can simply make your nodes real quick and then just uh, name them these. Should uh, should explain itself over here for the for the names of it. But once you have those, uh, usually for like, if you have like a longer car, or whatever. I, I mean, usually I just say if you want like interior, like inside, just use your left and your right. Uh, for like a good, it'll be a good glow. So you have your left and your right, then we can go ahead, go in the left view. Go ahead, take off auto, make sure you have those. Uh, you could alt click to select to make them red. Take off, once you take off auto, go to move tool, just go ahead, drag them up. And usually I like to position them in like the, the, the middle of both windows. So not like, I don't know, I guess like the door, just however the, the rear to the front window is. Uh, that'll be the, the middle position so it'll be like I don't know close over here and what you want to uh, also watch out for is like the bleeding so what I mean by that is if you have them too high your LEDs will bleed uh, outside of your front and rear windows and it will just look ugly so you don't want them too high uh, and then if you have it too low there will just be like no uh, lights up there and it'll look kind of weird so you're just gonna have to basically test that out on your on your own so i like to have it i don't know somewhere near the top of the window so like over here will be good for this car uh and then once you have that in the top position go ahead and uh we could go to the top view and then usually i like to have them over like each seat so we can go ahead and do that real quick just take the left one Turn off. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, and then just like have that right there, and then take your right one. Just gotta do the same thing, and then uh, just go ahead and make sure you know your notes are even. So like, I don't know. I guess they don't look off or whatever. And then for that, that would basically how you have uh, your interior LEDs. If uh, if you want to put it like how I showed you in the beginning of the video, like in a trunk or whatever. You could basically take uh, your neon node and just drag it up to like the boot and then like once you have a position it will swing up and down uh with that node and like you could do that for your doors and your head and just other stuff but yeah that's that's basically the tutorial it was nice short and quick um how to do interior uh leds which i've seen no one really created tutorial for and it's pretty simple so yeah hope you enjoy